Parental discretion is advised. Roses are red. Violets are blue. When the Z Morning Zoo calls your man, he better choose you. War of the Roses. Catching cheaters one at a time. And it starts now. All right, let's uh, welcome Nicole to the show. Hello. Hey, everybody. So, Nicole emailed me a couple weeks ago with the most interesting subject in her email. Do you remember what you put down as the subject of your email to me, Nicole? Yeah, I said basically, like, do you ever use War of the Roses to help people hook up? Using War of the Roses Mm. for good. Mm. What a concept. So we're going to try something a little different this week. First of all, who are we putting to the test for you, Nicole? My coworker, Dan. Okay. So tell us the story of you and Dan. So Dan and I started working together just a couple months ago. He got transferred basically from a different city and since he got here i mean i've been interested in him you know but like playing it cool because i wasn't sure if he was married or if he had a girlfriend or anything like that okay so you found out though that he is not married correct and you said to your knowledge there is also no girlfriend (laughs) also correct okay so you have been busy working on this man you (laughs) said doing the little things (laughs) Yeah, basically just, you know, making sure I look right when I get to work, you know, spending that little extra time on my hair and makeup and outfit and that kind of thing. So basically you do you do what Lizzo says. You do your hair, toes, check your nails. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay. So, so how has that worked out for you? What kind of vibe are you getting from him? Oh, okay, so this is the part that confuses me because there are times when he's very flirtatious and he's fun with me and then... There are other times when I'm trying to mess with him a little bit, and then he's acting really distant, like almost like he doesn't have time for me. Yeah. Or he could be playing hard to get. Maybe, yeah. No, I, I would say, speaking as a guy, I can tell you, we, we don't play hard to get. We want sex too much. <laughs> so, okay, so you're into this guy for sure. Very. All right, and we think he might be into you. Well, I mean, at times he definitely acts that way, yeah. But, you know, other times, not so much. Okay. But you said you're at the point where you're ready to just basically step up and ask him out since he hasn't done it yet. I mean, I would like to, yeah. Yeah. That 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 is a bold strategy, if you ask me. I mean, I, I don't see what's <laughs> so bold about it. I mean, it's 2019. Women can ask men out now. It doesn't mean you're like a tramp or anything. So I say if you're sick of waiting around for him, you know, just go for it. Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But what we need to make sure of here, it's not just that he's into you as well, but we don't know for a fact that maybe there's somebody else he's into more. Like, what if we offer him these roses and he's like, oh, yeah, there's this girl from my gym I'm really into and he gives her the flowers. Well, I mean, if he does that, then, like, I know where I'm at and I didn't embarrass myself. Yeah, okay. So that's, that's a good point. All right, well, let's call him up. You said his name is Dan? Yes, Dan. Okay, so we'll call up Dan. We'll offer him a dozen roses that he can send to anybody he wants and then you're going to get to hear who he chooses and what he puts on the card. Um, time for the two questions we ask every War of the Roses participant. Question one, are you sure you want all of this on the air? Yes. All right. And question two, how certain are you that when we offer him these roses that he's going to pick you to send them to? I mean, I'm hopeful, but I'm nowhere near 100% sure. Okay. All right. Well, let's find out. Darling at random. Hello? Good morning. I'm calling to speak with the Dan H- please. Uh, this is Dan. Good morning, Dan. My name's Ashley, and I'm calling today from the Visa Rewards Program. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. So the reason I was calling uh, was to let you know that you were chosen as one of this month's winners in our Visa Rewards monthly prize drawing. So congratulations, and thanks so much for using Visa. Uh, I was the winner of what now? Uh, you were chosen as one of our monthly winners for the month of November. So every month we give out little prizes to our customers as a way to say thanks. And this month you are one of our winners. So do you have a few minutes for me to tell you about your prize? Uh, sure. I, I mean, I can't believe I actually won something. <laughs> so um, this month's prize is flowers. So every winner gets a nice bouquet of long-stemmed red roses sent to them as a special thank you. And the reason I called you is because we've discovered that a lot of the guys who win, they actually prefer that we don't send them the flowers, but rather, you know, send them to their wife or girlfriend as a gift from them. 
So is that something that you'd like us to do with your flowers, or would you prefer we send them directly to you? Oh, uh, I mean, I, I don't really need flowers. Um, I guess you can send them to somebody for me. Uh, send them to my mom, actually. Your mom? Come on. I mean, these aren't lilies and daffodils. They're roses. Romantic, long-stemmed red roses. You don't have any special person in your life you want these to go to? I mean, I don't have a wife or a girlfriend or anything. Okay. Well, is there anybody maybe you have a secret crush on? You know, red roses would definitely work on me. I'm just saying. Oh, um, is there anybody that I have a crush on? Uh, I mean... I mean, is there anybody at work that you've had your eye on or... You know, maybe the girl at Starbucks who makes her coffee every morning. I, I don't know. I'm just throwing ideas out there. I mean, I guess, I guess there's one person you could send it to. Uh, but I would say, you know, like only if the whole thing was like kept confidential, you know. I, like I don't want her to know I did it. Yeah, for sure. We can do that. What's her name? Okay, uh, her name is Nicole and her last name is Okay, and the flowers can include a card if you wanted to leave some sort of message. No, no, I don't want to leave any message or anything. I don't, I don't want her to know that they're from me. I, I just don't want her getting the wrong idea or anything. Okay, um, so, so why don't you hang on for one second, and I'm going to get that address from you. I just got to put you on hold for a quick second, okay? Sure, no problem. Okay, thanks. Okay, so, Nicole, I, I guess that right there is probably the green light you were waiting for. I think it was. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I'm still not sure. I mean, did you hear the part where he was like, I don't want her getting the wrong idea. Yeah, but maybe he just thought like it was too early for like the whole romantic roses no, thing. No, see, I feel like the whole wrong idea is that he's into her. Like, I think he might not be. Well, I mean, all I know is that he didn't pick anybody else. So, I mean, there's no girlfriend. Right. Mm-hmm. And no mysterious girl at the gym or the coffee shop. Sounds to me like he's a free agent. I say go for it. I say wait. I mean, you can continue to play like your flirty games with them and stuff, but I think you should wait for him to ask you out. Because, I mean, what if you do ask him out and then he's like, um, no, thank you. Like, like then you still have to see him at work every day and that's going to be awkward. I'll tell you what. Why don't we do this? We'll put it up to a vote. If you think Nicole should step up and ask this guy out, text us and let us know at 757-104. But also, if you don't think she should, then text us that and let us know. And then also give us your reason why.